Welcome to How to Play Magic the Gathering in Tabletop Simulator Part 1. We'll be talking about how to get your deck completely built and into the game without any mods running in Tabletop Simulator. The first step is to obtain a list of cards that you want in your deck. Now one of the ways that you can obtain a list or create your own list is to go to a website called tappedout.net as you can see here in the background. It'll allow you to find other people's created decks, filter through standard, modern, commander, and it'll allow you to actually download the deck list. If you're interested in creating your own deck and not downloading a deck someone else has created, you can use the deck builder function on the website in the top navigation bar. Now, once you've found a deck that you like and you want to download, what you need to do is click on the download, export, embed code button in the bottom left hand corner here. Then what you want to do is go to the export download drop down and then click text.txt. What this does is downloads a text file which will look similar to this once downloaded. So now that you're all set and you have your deck, step two is to obtain the images for your cards so that they will display in Tabletop Simulator correctly. I suggest using magiccards.info. What magiccards.info does is display all the scanned images in the exact same resolution. This is very important when importing a deck. Now once you've opened up the website that you want to download your images from, you can start to copy and paste the names of the cards into the search engine. With magiccards.info you can select which set the card is from so you can get the correct version. I'm using a standard deck so I'll be getting the most recent versions of my cards. All you need to do is get this image here, drag it into a folder. Do this for all of your cards, only getting one image of each. You'll find that it's probably best to rename the images as you download them, unlike me, I've left them as the default. With lands, you can grab a couple of different images to make them a little more similar to how they would be in a normal deck. For step 3, you're going to be creating the image that Tabletop Simulator uses to display your deck. You want to open up Steam, right click on Tabletop Simulator, go to Properties, then click on the tab Local Files, then Browse Local Files. Here you'll be brought to where your Tabletop Simulator is installed. You want to go into the Modding folder and then the Deck Builder folder, clicking on TTS Deck Editor.exe. This is where we're going to be creating our deck for magic. So in Tabletop Simulator Deck Editor, you want to click New Deck, have the width of 10, height of 7. Now this means that you can only have 70 cards in a deck. If your deck is bigger than 70, do not put 4 of each image into this part here as I will show you in a moment. Only put 1 and you can duplicate it in the program later. Right now I'm going to go through and fill up my deck. I realized that it was going to be faster if I used the little preview images rather than selecting through and scrolling up and down each time. What I usually do is put all of my lands in between my main deck and my side deck just so it's easier to find. Now once you have your entire deck list in the TTS deck editor, you want to go to File, Export. Do not use Upload Image, I find that it crashes the program. Once you've found where you want to save the file, type in the unique name, I usually use just deck.png. 
Another important thing to remember is how many cards you actually have in the image for your deck. So for this particular deck, I have 26 cards. You need to remember this. You'll be entering it into the program later. You've exported your deck image, now you're ready to move on to uploading your image so that it can be used in multiplayer correctly. Now, for step 4, you're going to need to upload the image you created earlier to an image hosting website so that you can play the deck online. You can use Imager, but I've found that it compresses the image so it might make the quality a little bit worse. The other thing you can do in game is to upload it to the Steam Cloud through Tabletop Simulator. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to just be using Imager. Now find the direct link to your image. One way you can do that is by right click copying image address and just pasting it again. Now you'll have the .jpg version of your image. I'm going to be giving you a link to this image so you don't have to upload it yourself. Once you have the deck image and your card back uploaded, you'll need to open up Tabletop Simulator for step 5. Now that we have Tabletop Simulator open, you'll want to go to Single Player, go to Classic, and then go to Custom. This will instantly prompt you to insert a custom deck URL and back face, which is great. The custom board, we don't need to do anything with that. So you'll need to find your face image URL. So that would be the deck image that we exported earlier. So you want to copy that and then paste that straight in here. Notice how it ends in .jpg. If you uploaded it to Steam, it might not end in that, but it will still work. Now the card back image is going to be the Magic the Gathering image, and you'll want to put that here. Now remember how we had the number from earlier of how many cards you have in the deck? This is where that comes in handy. You'll need to swap this slider down to how many cards you have in your deck. I have 26 cards in mine, so I'll be putting it at 26. Now when the cards are in your hand, you'll want to show the back of the Magic the Gathering card so it's not black. This will just allow it to look a little bit nicer. So you want to tick back is hidden. Time to import your deck. That will take a moment to load. And then here we have it. So all right, we have our 26 cards loaded into the game. You'll notice that the outlines don't particularly look exactly like magic cards. Um, I feel like this is okay because you're going to be loading the cards in a lot quicker. There is another way to make the deck image that creates the proper black outline of the magic cards, but these cards are just as usable. If you're not crazy about having everything look super nice, um, this will work just fine. It also makes the text a little bit larger having the image uh, load like this instead of the other way. Now what you need to do is separate your sideboard so you'll want to separate your cards to, you know, land, sideboard, mainboard. Now when they're all like this, this is when you can now start doing what I said earlier and duplicating them so that you have the correct amount of these cards in your deck. So you want to have your deck list handy. Now what you do is find the cards that you need to duplicate. So I need to start with Bone Saw. Hover the hand over them, you don't need to pick them up. Hold down control, press C for copy, and then paste. So one, two, three. Now they should pop into a single stack. Now once you've got your full main board set, you need to put that aside. Grab the cards from your sideboard, lay them out and do the same thing. If you don't, do not have a sideboard, you can skip this step, obviously, and just move on to the next part. Now you've got your main board and your side board, they're all set. Now you don't want your opponents to see the cards or the deck that you have when you spawn it into the game, right? So you want to make sure that they're face down like this. 
what you do is you hold down left click, select both of them. Now what you'll do want to do is right click, go down to save object. Now you want to call this whatever you whatever you'd like to call this, name it that. So this is the white deck. So white mono. Let's just write that. And I've got a folder for it under MTG decks. Done. What you want to do, if you do want to spawn in your deck in a match, from here you want to go to objects, saved objects, and then all you need to do is click it and it will load it in like that. And that's how you get a Magic the Gathering deck into Tabletop Simulator without any mods at all. And now as you can see, I can draw these cards to my hand, flip them over. I didn't shuffle, but there you go, it gives you an idea of that, so. Alright guys, that's it for part one in the Magic the Gathering and the Tabletop Simulator tutorials. Uh, in part two, what we're going to be doing is going through and looking at the sort of mods and controls in Tabletop Simulator that make it easier to play specifically Magic. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.